Let's talk about background colors and background images inside of Canva. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to change those and edit those and add those and do all sorts of things with your backgrounds. You're gonna be an expert by the end of this. We're starting with a completely blank document. Let's talk about background color first. If we select our background, just by clicking on the blank document itself, not on any elements on it, we'll notice this little color icon here in the upper left-hand corner. It's called background color. We click on that and we have some options. The first is a search bar. If I just type in a random hex code here, it's gonna show me that code, but also give me a lot of other options. Okay, cool. I could also search for aqua if I wanted to and find colors related to that. So you could search for colors there. You can add document colors and that's any color you want. You can select, go through the hues, select the tone here and select the color that you want. You can also choose from the default colors down here that are really quick and easy. So you can select any of these colors and I'll show you how to select some more colors based on imagery here in a second. But what if you wanted an image as your background? You could go to uploads and upload media yourself. I've uploaded this one in the past. You can also go to elements, go to photos and search for something like, let's say we want a forest background. Let's search for forest photos. So Canva is going to do a little loading here. Now I have Canva Pro. You can try that for free in the link in the description. You may get more images and stuff, but let's say I wanted to try one of these photos down here. That's actually a free photo. And if I click and drag it, it's either going to place it or if I drag it into a certain spot along the edge of the background, it actually will link it into the background. But let me show you something first before we do that. Let's say you just have a photo on your document and you want that to be the background. We can right click on that photo and say replace background. And that's gonna allow us to have that photo as the background just like that. Now the other thing we can do is double click into the background and we can size this. So if Canva doesn't place it exactly how you want it, you can scale this photo up and down just like that. This little bar down here, you can zoom in and out. So that might be easier if you're working with a background since we're talking about the edge of your document. So you can scale this and move it to exactly where you want it to be then click outside of it. And now that is where the background is. Once again, I did that just by double clicking on the blank background image. Now let's zoom back in a little bit. The other thing you can do is now that I click on the background, I have some options here, some of my similar image options like cropping and flipping and editing the image. We could change the brightness of it. A lot of times with backgrounds, you might want it a little bit darker or maybe even brighter depending on your font color. Also, if we go to the color options again, we have a new row here called photo colors. It actually pulls colors from the photo. We could use these colors to change the background color. Now, this doesn't really make sense when you have the photo selected of your background because it's gonna replace it. So now it's just gonna be that green instead of the photo. If I undo that, what you could do is if you have a background already to detach it from the background, you can simply right click on it, detach image from background. It's gonna bring that image back just into your document. Any image inside of your document, you can select to look at those colors. So if we click on the background color again, go to colors, it's gonna look at the photo colors of the photos on your document. So we just have this photo here, it's telling me from that photo, look at these colors as options to color your background. So we can select any one of these that's gonna fit the tone of the photos on our page. Now keep in mind what we just did to detach that photo is what you would do on a template. So if we go find a template that has a photo as a background, like this Merry Christmas template down here, if we were going to start with this template as soon as it loads up. So if we're starting with this template, it has a photo as the background already. If you wanted to change that photo or change that background, for instance, if you wanted to duplicate this page, so your second page still has the same elements here, but you want to change the background on this page, you would simply right click, detach that image. And now you've taken that image out of that background. So we could just delete it out of there. So we detached and deleted that photo we could go back over to elements. Uh, we could go search for something like Christmas, go to photos and maybe find another background that could work. We could drag this one out. If we drag just over the edge of our background, it'll actually place it in there. Then we could move our elements around if we wanted to and have a different background on the next page. That's how you can get rid of whatever photos back there and edit your background to be exactly the way that you want it to be here in Canva.